from checked out to check out. We're a couple of upstate New Yorkers with an eye for forgotten finds and the elbow grease to turn them into one of a kind treasures. Hey guys, thanks for joining us here again. I'm Michaeline. And I'm Amber. And today we're gonna to be taking this pile of random junk and turning it into an awesome vanity set. We're gonna make this look like not the same stool you've seen everywhere you've ever been in your life. Of course, you can lock your travel items. And so we are going to utilize this feature as well. We're gonna give you the key so you can keep your little sister out of your shit. It's portable! So we picked up this suitcase at Brimfield Antique and Flea Market in Massachusetts. It was baby blue. Like, that's all I know about it. <laughs> so we got a vintage suitcase. This one was actually on a table for $10. Um, most of them run for like uh, around $30, so $10 is pretty good. It was in pretty decent condition. There wasn't much work that we needed to do on it. She really wanted to keep the blue, but we ended up doing totally not the blue. It's and sexy now. and yeah, we weren't gonna rip out the interior either. And then that changed as well. All right, this wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. We pulled everything off the inside, which was surprisingly easy, probably because of its age. See, it smells like grandma's house. I felt bad for tearing it out, but yeah. it wasn't gonna look good. No, that, that blue color is a little too dated. Yes, that is a good way to put it. Mm -hmm. Grandma dated. Grandma dated. We love grandma, she's dated. <laughs> yes. A lot of my grandma's stuff was that color. She had a house coat that color. <laughs> she did. Ooh, you can't lose the keys. The selling feature. There's safety pin in there, nice. Responsible traveler. While she was stripping the suitcase, I had to run all the screws deeper into the wood. Then I um, put wood filler over the top of the screws to kind of hide those a little bit. And yeah, wood filler is my new favorite thing. It was fun. I used it on everything. I used it on the stool. I even moved over to her suitcase and filled in some cracks that were in there. And it sanded so beautifully. Michaeline and I sanded all the legs. They didn't need much sanding because they kind of were already weathered. Weathered. I also cut the legs. There was all these little weird square nubs at the top. They actually used to be spindles for stairs. Oh, right, like banisters, like the banister. Um, so come that's I why they're so that. fancy. You didn't know that? We cut and sand them so that they were all uh, flush with each yeah, other. Yeah, we had. I think we had one little short guy in there that was a little bit shorter than the rest, so we evened it out. We chose a dark stain on the wood. We wanted it not to be brown. So we got ebony. So the chalk paint turned out well. It's a beautiful color. It's in mineral, which that was super cool. It's like a gray top uh, color. You it say went, top. What do you say? Taupe. <laughs> I don't know. Which one's right? Let us know. <laughs> it's very neutral, so it can go in any room. 
I'd never used chalk paint before. That was uh, interesting. Went on with like one coat. I was yeah. very surprised. We cut plywood to go inside of the suitcase because I built a bed for my dog out of a little mini suitcase. You've seen it. And uh, sometimes when we're working in here, we'll just hear her like yelp and then I run in to go check on her and she's closed inside of her suitcase because the legs, I just screwed the legs in. I didn't use plywood before uh, when I built that one. So I was like, oh, this will be fine. And the legs are super wobbly and poor little Juliet, she gets squished sometimes. She is there. still alive though. <laughs> legs all screwed in, it was time to dress up the inside of the suitcase. I bought some cork board for the backing, but yes. Amber had some mat board, which... It's like the stuff that you you would put around a picture to like make it fancy. Um, so she I had a some... lot of random shit. I do have a lot of random shit. <laughs> it was like a cream color so we used the leftover chalk paint to uh, paint over that first so it was a nice uh, uniform color to the rest of it. Mod Podge comes in so many different types like different finishes. Um, they have glossy, they have matte, they have a hard coat. You can do shoes with it. Ooh. DIY soon shoes with new fabric. I will show that one. <laughs> You're gonna love it. This is dangerous. Subscribe so you can see all this cool stuff. Cause seriously, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be badass. It's gonna be Mod Podge everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and wood filler everywhere. <laughs> like, what? We ended up securing the mat board and the mirror with what's called E6000, another thing I've never heard of. I thought it was like a super glue, it's not. It's like a rubber cement, and uh, you have to put the E6000 on the piece, the two pieces that you're gonna adhere and then stick them together. surprised at how few issues we had with this with this I mean it was I cut my pinky she did cut her pinky we were gonna break down the mirror we we're gonna take it out of the frame and just have it plain I'm glad we didn't because that would have looked gross without a border on yeah it. I'm really glad that that didn't work Walmart out I'm glad Walmart quality. pulled through yeah <laughs> we thought we were gonna be able to just pull that thing apart but it was not having it no so we took the hardware off though we were like we're gonna use this later after i hurt my pinky i was like i'm done <laughs> so, so she's like you know what we'll just keep it in the frame then if you buy a mirror with a frame from walmart you know it's secure inside that frame because they had hot glue they i think they had some rubber cement in there and then they also had staples holding that on and then cardboard backing on top of that, that glued on i can't believe that. we ripped it i was like oh, i'll just rip the cardboard off and it'll come right out because that's how walmart works nope everything was attached super super well is one of us bleeding <gasps> yeah you are oh no <laughs> blood 
we're in doubt of whose blood it is, let's just assume it's Michael <laughs> So I sewed just single welting for like almost like a roping for the inside of the suitcase just to clean it up and really clean up those edges around the back of the suitcase. Putting the vinyl in the bottom of the suitcase we decided actually this was a brilliant idea. We decided to put vinyl or a washable type of fabric in there because a lot of the suitcases that we've seen turned into vanities they use just a regular um, like cotton or, or polyester fabric that can get dirty and I feel like my makeup goes everywhere. Yeah, not for a makeup vanity. Yeah. I got the stool from our local picker that we always talk about. It was originally going to be for um, the craft room, yeah, but then we found those other really cool stools, which you can see in another video. She cut the foam, because I hate cutting foam. I could have really used an adventure sword knife. Can you actually hold this stool for me? Just hold the, yeah. So it's gonna go. Hit you in the face again? Yeah. The same fabrics that we use inside the vanity, we also carried onto the top of the stool. So I used um, a light, tan color to match the other for a top, <laughs> to taupe, <laughs> one of the two. Uh, I used that for um, laying the lace over the top of, just to match the back of the vanity. Speed's up. That's how I psych myself out. <laughs> So I sort of did a racing stripe, a uh, sexy racing stripe. Ooh. Racing vanity. Tell your boyfriend it's a racing vanity. He'll let you bring it. <laughs> oh, good Lord. I just realized, how do I pulse her around surface? Just make it work. Lots of pulling of different ways. And then the last thing that we needed to do was just trim up the stool and it was ready to put with the suitcase. Um, as far as the money goes, I guess we're not competing this time since this is no. your joint. Yes, this was a pairing, so we can't compete, so I can't lose. We finagled the uh, person down to 10 bucks for the suitcase. Fabric ran about 10 bucks, probably too. Mod Podge. That ran us about five dollars. We got a big one. A huge That's thing. That's gonna last us We got those, what I thought were legs, but they are banisters. For about seven dollars. We got the chalk paint. Six dollars for a, a little jar. Really, we still have extra. Yeah, we do still have extra. Yeah. We used that on a lot of stuff. The E6000 was about two ninety nine. And then the stool we got at the local place again, Amber swindled them into a $2 stool. Mm -hmm. So that gives us a grand total of $40.99. Not too bad.
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.